In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do SEO on a website built using WordPress and the Page Builder Elementor. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro License Key. And then we're going to paste the License Key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So I'm on the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to head on over to the post section. And then if you have a post that you have previously edited with Elementor, like this one called Elementor number 3230, you'll have a link that says edit with Elementor. If you've never edited the post with Elementor, that link won't be there, but there's another way to get into it. I'm going to scroll down to this post called how to set the SEO title and description format, and I'm just going to click it to edit it. So now we're in the regular WordPress block editor. And just as a reminder, if we scroll down past the content in the block editor, this is where you find the all-in-one SEO setting. I'm going to scroll back up. And if we want to edit this post with Elementor, we click the button that says edit with Elementor. So within Elementor, we have the same all-in-one SEO settings and the same all-in-one SEO options to do on-page SEO on your page. It's just found in a different place. All the way in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, there is this little gear icon for settings in Elementor. I'm going to click on that. And then up top, we're going to click on the AIO SEO logo. And here are all the all-in-one SEO settings. So the first tab is the general settings. We have a preview here of how our listing is going to look in the search results. I can edit that by clicking Edit Snippet. And then here's an expanded view of the preview. Here's the post title. Here's the meta description. So let's say I wanted to add some emoji to the post title to make it pop a little more. I can go ahead and throw in this smiley face here and a space. And then I'm going to put another smiley face at the end. And you can see in the preview, it's showing us what that would look like. I'm going to close out of this modal. And then if we continue on, we can see our focus key phrase. It's giving me a 100 out of 100. So it's scoring so well because it's ticking off all of the boxes for what makes a good focus key phrase. It's in the SEO title. It's in the meta description. The length is good. It's in the URL and it's in the introduction. So if I collapse the focus key phrase section, additional key phrases, you could add additional key phrases here. I don't have any for this page. Basic SEO. Doing okay here, a lot of green check marks uh, and some red X's, which is telling me these sections need work. Throughout our all in one SEO plugin, when you see green check marks, it means you're doing things well. And when you see red X's, it means you need a little bit of work. So 
There's a little bit of work to do on my basic SEO. Uh, there's no external links and internal links to the content, and the meta description length is way too long. So those are things I could work on on this page. For the title, the title length is too long. So I could fix that. And for readability, we're doing good on a paragraph length. We're doing good on transition words. We're doing good on consecutive sentences. We're doing good on flesh reading ease. But the subheading distribution needs work. The use of passive voice needs work. And the sentence's length needs work. So that's where you find all of the general AIO SEO settings. If I X out of that section, the next section is social. So this modal pops up and gives us a place to put in our Facebook title and Facebook description when this is shared on social media. And then here's a little preview of how that will look. Currently, it's pulling in the title and description of the page. Oftentimes, that's what you want to use on Facebook. But if I wanted to put something custom here, I could use these smart tags, and put in post title and a separator and the site title. We can see it creating that up here. Here's the post title how to set the SEO title and description format. There's my separator. And then the name of the site is demo site. I could also throw in an emoji here as well. Or you could not use the smart tags and just type in your own custom title. I've gone with the very original, my own custom title. And the same thing applies for the description. For image source, it's gonna use the image that I set up in the social network settings of all-in-one SEO. It's going to use the default, but if you didn't want to use the default, there's lots of other options that you could use there. You could use something else. Video URL does not apply for this page. And again, we're using the default object type set in social networks, but you could change that here if you wanted to for this page. I don't have sections or tags for my articles, so those two sections are blank. If we head on over to the Twitter tab, the easiest thing to do is use the data from the Facebook tab, but if you don't want to do that, you can deselect that and then type in your own custom Twitter title and Twitter description or use the smart tags here. I'm going to close out of this modal. And then the next all-in-one SEO section is schema. If I click this blue generate schema button, we have a powerful schema generator built into all-in-one SEO. So if this was a FAQ page, you could add FAQ schema to the page. If this was a recipe page, you could add recipe schema. If I just open up one of these schemas real quickly, you can see how this works and you can add your FAQ questions and answers and then add the schema to the page. I'm going to close out of that section. The next section is redirects. If I click on that, this little modal pops up. The source URL is pre populated with the URL of the page I'm working on, this page the how to set the SEO title and description page. And then I can select a target URL that I want to redirect it to. So I know I have a page in here called test puppy page. So I'll type in the word puppy. And I could add the redirect right here from this page. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to redirect this page, but this is where you do that. So I'm going to close out of this without adding the redirect. And below that is the advanced settings. Most users are going to be just fine with the default settings. So I would recommend you just leave these default settings on. But if you are an advanced user and know what you're doing, you can turn this off and you can tweak all of the advanced settings for all-in-one SEO. I'm going to use the default settings. Close out of this box. This is where you find all of the on-page settings for all-in-one SEO when you're using the Elementor page builder. When you're all done, make sure you click the green button to update your page so that those settings are saved to the page. So that's how to do SEO on a site built using Elementor. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to easily create schema data for content on your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.